Um, so I'm Oli Kronk, uh, Technology Director at ScotLogic. I've been here all of about two months, so it's an exciting uh, new start for me, which is which is great. Um, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about a couple of things before handing over the baton to Ricardo to talk to us about um, the Java open source uh, kind of uh, ecosystem. But uh, to kick off, how many people have heard of Mastodon? Show of hands. And if you keep, keep your hands up, if you'd heard of it before a couple of days ago. Okay, so yeah, all right. So this is something that I I'd like to pique my interest in particular. Um, in particular, the W3C protocol underpins uh, this this technology called um, ActivityPub. Uh, and it, and it, it turns out actually Mastodon is just one of, you know, kind of whole ecosystem of the Fediverse, as it's now known, the federated kind of social uh, media kind of open source uh, universe, as it were. Um, and so, yeah, it's kind of, kind of interesting how Mastodon is kind of getting the headlines. Um, been around since 2006. Clearly, you know, the whole Twitter sort of controversies have, um, have, have kind of raised its profile a little bit. Uh, and the last stats that I've been able to find are that about 650 odd thousand active users, which represents only about, you know, a fraction of a percent of, of, of the Twitter sort of user base. But what's been really interesting for me is that you've got mainstream sort of celebrities now talking about Mastodon. You know, you've got sort of BBC TV uh, presenters and stuff talking about, oh, I'm checking this thing out. So it's no longer this sort of fringe sort of community, but actually there are mainstream people sort of experimenting with it. So it'd be interesting to see if that 655,000, uh, you know, user number starts to kind of go anywhere over the next kind of a few weeks. Another really interesting thing about the Mastodon story is it turns out that Truth Social, and I only found out about this this week, Truth Social is actually powered by Mastodon. And not only that, but up until very recently, they were actually using it in breach of the open source licensing. And so there's some so there's some links in the in the slide deck which I'm sure we'll share with you. But yeah, really really interesting story here where effectively they were trying to get away with ripping off Mastodon, you know, open source code base and, and running True Social on it without, you know, re redistributing the, the source code. So they have literally in the last few days admitted that they are using Mastodon. They have put a zip file somewhere random on their website to kind of comply in a token way with with the fact that they're leveraging open source tool. Anyway, that was just a bit of a you know amusing hopefully interlude between uh, between talks. But um, I'll now hand over to um, Ricardo.